In this mechanics video we have a uniform beam of mass 12 kilograms and length 1.6 meters which is hinged at a vertical wall and held horizontally by a string which is positioned at three quarters along its length. The two tasks are A to calculate the tension in the string and B to calculate the reaction at the hinge. There is also a mass of 30 kilograms which is acting at the very end of the uniform rod as shown here. So the weight of the 30 kilogram mass will be 30 G Newtons acting vertically downwards. The string itself is inclined at 50 degrees to the horizontal. The hinge is shown and we have a vertical wall. So for part A on the diagram all the relevant forces need to be shown. Now because the beam is uniform its weight of 12 G Newtons will act vertically downwards at the center of the beam. So here's the center of the beam so the weight of the uniform rod will act at this position and its magnitude will be 12 G Newtons. Because the beam is 1.6 meters long, this will act exactly in the middle of the beam so half of 1.6 is 0 0.8 so here I am going to put 0 0.8 meters now it says that the uh, string is positioned three quarters along its length so three quarters of 1.6 is 1.2 so this distance here will be 0 0.4 meters and this distance here will also be the same 0 0.4 meters. The string will have tension within it and that will be acting this in this direction I'm going to call that T. Now to work out T, I'm going to take moments about this hinge and I'll call this hinge H. So for part A, I'm going to take moments about H. Now this tension would try to move the rod in this direction. So this tension would in effect produce an anti-clockwise moment. So I need to draw a perpendicular line from the tension, i.e. the string, to the hinge there. So if I want to take moments about the hinge it would be T times this dotted distance here which is the perpendicular distance that the rope is from the hinge. Now this dotted line is opposite the 50 degrees and here is the and from if you add 0 0.8 to 0 0.4 that's the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. So we have opposite and a hypotenuse, which is sine. So this dotted distance here will be 1.2 meters sine 50 degrees. So the anti-clockwise moment that T produces will be the force which is T itself times the perpendicular distance 
of the string from the hinge which is 1.2 sine 50 degrees now this weight here which is the weight of the beam is going to try and cause a clockwise moment and similarly this mass of 30 kilograms at the end of beam is also trying to produce a clockwise moment so this anti-clockwise moment must be balanced by the sum of the two clockwise moments so that's going to be 12g times the perpendicular distance that forces from the hinge which is 0 0.8 meters plus the weight at the end of the beam which is 30g and its distance from the hinge is 1.6 meters so simplifying the right hand side that gives 57 6g therefore T equals 57.6 times G which is 9.8 newtons per kilogram so 9.8 all over 1.2 sine 50 degrees and this gives a tension in the string of 614 newtons so that now is part A completed part B to calculate the reaction of the hinge, two forces at the hinge need to be shown. Because the tension will have a horizontal component acting towards the hinge, the hinge will have a horizontal component acting to the right and I'm going to give that magnitude x and there will also be a vertical force acting at the hinge as shown here and I'm going to denote this by Y at the moment it's not clear whether that vertical force is acting upwards or downwards but I for this purpose I'm, I am going to put it as acting upwards so resolving horizontally it's a double arrow because this beam is not moving horizontally so x equals this force must be balanced by the horizontal component of the tension in the string so that's going to be balanced by T cos 50 degrees so x is going to equal 614 cos 50 degrees now resolving vertically again it's a double arrow because this beam is not moving in the vertical direction so the vertical forces are y plus the vertical component of the tension which is t sine 50 degrees and these upward forces must be balanced by the sum of the downward forces which will be 12g plus 30g which equals 42g therefore y equals 
42 G so 42 times 9.8 minus T sine 50 so 614 sine 50 degrees and this gives an answer for y of minus 58.8 newtons now because y has given a negative value instead of acting upwards y is actually acting downwards with a magnitude of 58.8 newtons so at the hinge we have a horizontal force which is x acting to the right which is 614 cos 50 degrees And because Y is actually acting vertically downwards, as shown here, this is 58.8. Right angle there, form the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. I'm going to denote this as RF which is the resultant force acting at the hinge so using Pythagoras' theorem we have the resultant force acting at the hinge equals square root of six hundred and fourteen cos 50 degrees all squared plus 58.8 squared which gives a resultant force acting the hinge of 399 newtons now because this resultant force is a force, it's a vector quantity, so its magnitude is 399 newtons, but we need to find out the direction it's acting at. So if I call this angle here theta, theta equals inverse tan opposite 58 Point eight over the adjacent six hundred and fourteen cos fifty degrees, and that gives an angle to one decimal place of eight point five degrees. Now you should say in which direction this is acting, so below the horizontal. I hope again you have found this video interesting and informative as i've said before i will be creating some more mechanics videos in the very near future thank you for watching this one